Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton 95 Punch with another Transformers Legacy video, of course, Evolution. That is going to be over the core class sludge. Now, I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this guy. I know several people in my circle of friends that think this is absolute trash, but hey, I I'm in it for the combined mode. Uh, maybe have these guys in dino mode next to the other ones in robot mode. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it all turns out when it's all said and done, but... I know right now Sludge and Slug or Slag, whatever you want to refer to them as, are going to be the weakest ones because they form the torso. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I don't have very high hopes. I'm, I'm kind of keeping my expectations low. Uh, that's one of my things I'm going to do this year is I'm going to try to go in with low expectations on a lot of stuff just so I don't feel disappointed that way, you know, I can work out better my uh, my lists at the end of the year going into 2024. So here we've got Sludge, uh, of course, Dino mode there, open packaging, uh, Legacy Evolution, Dino mode Sludge, get them there on the side. Robot mode, eight steps, transformation. So let's go ahead and get them opened and check them out. All right, so here we have Sludge out of his packaging and yep, yeah, first impressions, I'm not too upset by it. Yeah, he's got these giant chunky hips that kind of get in the way, no elbow articulation. But again, as I stated before, it is due to the set, the sacrifices made for the combiner mode. And yeah, you could say all you want about third party combiners. They don't have the limitation, like budget restraints and everything like that, that Hasbro does. Now, this isn't me sucking up the Hasbro or anything. I'm just stating an obvious fact here. Like, they're, they're wanting this for little kids, whereas, like, let's say, uh, New Age or Iron Factory, those combiners are for adult collectors only. They just want miniature figures in their collection because it saves space. So th there is a, a difference between those and this, and this is, I mean, it's for both collectors and kids, but, you know, they're, they're trying to balance that out between the two. So, if you want a good sludge, get the Studio Series. If you don't like this, this clearly isn't for you. Uh, it's not necessarily 100% for me, like, just right off the bat. But, I don't know, I, I think it's neat for what it is. We'll see how I feel here later on. But, at the moment, it's not too bad. Uh, very simple transformation, so we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, some nice paint apps, though. You got some nice red and black there, some gold on the toes. I believe that's silver. He yeah, has a very pale silver on the face, and he does have blue eyes painted in there. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. Of course, you got black on the hands and the waist, which is not a separately fitted piece. It looks like it is. Okay, it is. Yeah, it is a separate fitted piece, so. Uh, articulation, he does have a swivel on the head, and eh, not too hollow, not as bad as Hot Rod. Uh, ball jointed shoulders, all the way around, all the way out, or not really all the way out, but eh, decent. I mean, given that he is most of the torso uh, for the legs, of course you gotta get the skirt out of the way. You do, you do get a little bit forward, all the way back, decent. Decent spread at the hips. Does have those wide hips. Uh, this is technically your thigh swivel because it's disconnected due to the combined mode transformation. So that swivels there. And there is your knee, which, yeah, I mean, it works as a knee. So transformation is super simple on this guy. Uh, so just, well, actually, we'll... Hmm. We'll go to combined mode and then back to robot mode, so that way. So combined mode, you just bring up the arms like this, rotate the thighs around like that. There is a tab here and a slot there that, that we'll plug into. Bring this around, do the same thing here. And there is his portion of the combined mode. So yeah, he becomes the lower torso and thighs of Volcanicus. Now I should have Sludge, or not Sludge, uh, Slug here in the next few days. So we'll see what happens there. Does have these here. I believe that's where Slug's hands will go. 
not too sure. I haven't seen like any transformations on combined mode or anything. What is it? Okay. But yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, I can't really even judge it so far because it's just one component. So, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how I, how they look combined and go from there. Now, I will say I, I am definitely excited if we do get uh, Dino King out of this. Now, that's something I do look forward to because it's supposed to be a smaller combiner. I know a lot of people want it to be huge, but I mean, the original toy was small. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of like, one of those things, like, I might like it, might be, eh. I'm on the fence, cautiously optimistic, let's call it that. So, anyways, from here, bring up the arms just to get them out of the way. And yes, this does come separate, and you just pop it on, it's a friction hinge. Bring up the head like that, bring the arms around to form the front half of the dyno mode. Just like that. And then here, actually before we've done that, we should have rotated the waist. Hang on, getting ahead of myself. So rotate the waist, then bring the arms up. There we go. Then bring legs up and around, legs up and around. And there we have Sludge in his very simple dino mode. And he is thick. Like he's got those big, chunky legs. But, eh, not, not too bad. Just fun little dino just to sit on your desk or somewhere on your shelf. I mean, the, I mean these core class guys are definitely made to go with your Titans. They're just the new replacement for Legends class figures. That's the whole point of them. Except for characters like Wheelie and uh, Spike and Inner. Those are meant to scale with whatever anyways yeah so not not a bad little dino mode you got the autobot symbol there gold paint for the head and blue painted eyes kind of that bluish green that you come to expect for the studio series type characters so yeah let's go ahead and get them back into robot mode it is as i said very simple so just go ahead and straighten those back out split the arms rotate waist around and flip back the dino head so yeah there's our look at sludge i mean for core class he's definitely not bad he's a fun I, it, like this is my first impression it's like it it's a fun little figure like it not by a lot but it did meet or just, it's slightly above what i expected i thought this thing was going to be absolute trash yes the hips suck like there's, there's no getting around that. The hips do suck. But I understand it's for the combination, just the way they have to make it work for him. I can live with it. Like, it, it's not going to make... I don't think this is going to make worst figure of the year because it's it's a $10 little thing, and it's it's not bad. So, uh, now I say that, but Hot Rod was just... Uh, I don't know what they were thinking with any of that design. At least some of this, I can understand it. Still looks good. You can kind of get them in a decent little pose here. Oh, yeah. I mean, th th there's a silver lining here. Like, initial thoughts, you know, when first seeing this, yeah, I thought it was going to be absolute garbage. In hand, it's 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 okay. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but th this is only the second figure of this line. So, we'll, we'll see what happens first of these uh, mini Dinobots. I'll see what I think with slug and hopefully you know by the time we get the rest of these guys i'll be more impressed but at the moment i'm i, I i'll i'll play ball and i'll see what happens so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all next time be sure to check out those links by the way down in the description my playlist whatever just it's all down there on the channel go check it out hope you guys enjoyed see you later